Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can use Cypress to test your Next.js applications. Now, if you've never used Cypress before, it is a JavaScript end-to-end -end test framework. So let's dig in and find out how you can test Next.js. So here we are in our Next.js application, and I've just used the Create Next app because we don't really need anything special. So now that we have the application, let's go ahead and install Cypress and get it set up. So the first thing you need to do is install the package. So you can just go ahead and do npm install cypress dash dash save dev. And that'll save it to our dev dependencies and our regular dependencies because we won't need this when we deploy our application, but only when we're actually making development changes. So once this is installed, I'll show you how to set it up and get it working. Okay, so you've installed your Cypress package and now we are inside our package.json and we're going to add a new script here and that's going to handle our Cypress. So just hit comma here and we're going to use Cypress colon open and then we're just going to put a colon there and say Cypress open and hit save. So at this point we're actually ready to use Cypress. So from our terminal, we can run task npm and use npm cypress open. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. So once it loads up, what you'll get is this test suite and it has all the integration tests available. Currently, this is the integration tests and you can go ahead and hit run over here on the right hand side and it will run all of these example integration tests. And as you can see from the screen, it loads a few things up and it will just jump through all of these different tests. Now these tests obviously don't really apply to what we're doing and are just examples. So what we're gonna do is create a few tests. First, I'm gonna show you how to select just an H1 on a screen and make sure it has something that we want. And then I'm gonna show you what happens when it doesn't work. Then I'm gonna show you how get static props and get server props uh, aren't affected by this and can be easily tested. Okay, so now that we're back in our application, you can actually see we have a new folder called Cypress and inside of it is integration. And inside of here is a folder called examples. And these examples have our example tests that we had before, actions, aliasing, assertions, cookies, etc. And we don't actually need this. So we can just go ahead and remove this whole folder and now we have an integrations folder. So what I'm gonna do is create a new file here and the schema is what we wanna test, spec and then JS. And this basically tells us that this is a test file. So inside this home.spec.js file, this is where we tell Cypress how to run an integration test. So the first thing you need to do is do three slashes and give it a reference type equal to Cypress. Once you've done that, underneath you're going to do context and say what the title will be. So in this context, it's just the home page. So we're just going to write home page. And then we are going to start our integration test. So before each test is run, we need to do something. So write the words before each. And that tells it before each test, we want to make sure that we're on the right page. So let's do CY visit and then HTTP localhost 3000. And then underneath that, we can actually tell it what we'd like to do. So you write the word it and then give it a title. So we're gonna write should find our welcome page and message and then do a comma here and say inside of we should write cy.get and tell it to get the h1 on the screen and then say dot contains and then the word welcome so now we have that what we can do is launch our cypress and test this so go to terminal run and do cypress open and let's test this out. So what should happen is we should get a successful test that says, yes, you've done it. 
So if we run this integration test, we're expecting something to happen. Now, before each is the first part, and it's looking to try and find localhost 3000. But as you can see, it's been almost 10 or 11, 13 seconds, and nothing has happened. And that's because one, localhost is not actually running. So this is going to fail and say, we could not load this page. So the first thing we need to do is actually launch our server and make it work the way we expect it. So go ahead and close out of Cypress and I'm gonna show you how to launch and run the tests at the same time. So we're back in our code and we're gonna install another package here called start server and test. And this is a way of making sure we are on the right port number and we're running our tests. So to do this, you're gonna do npm install start server and test. And then make sure you save it to your dev dependencies. And once that's installed, we can talk about how we're gonna use that in our package JSON. So I'm inside of our package JSON and we're gonna create a new script called test. Now this test script is going to take both running this dev server on the correct port as well as running the Cypress open together. So to do this, you can do start server and test dev 3000. So it's gonna run this on this port, so 3000 and then CY open. And then that will run this right here. And that will now allow us to run the tests. So go ahead and hit the test run here and I'll meet you back in Cypress. So here we are back in Cypress and you can see we have the home spec.js integration test that we just ran. So let's go ahead and click the run button and make sure that everything is working as expected. So now Cypress is loaded. You can see that this home page should find our welcome page. Before visit, it visited here. Then it got our H1 and made sure it contained the welcome that is right here. Now let's go back and quickly just make a quick change to our Next.js app and then rerun this and make sure that our test fails if welcome is not present. So I have made a change and just called it hi instead of welcome. So let's go ahead and run our integration test. And now we should find that it fails. And the reason is because it cannot find the word welcome. As you can see here, timed out retrying, expected to find content welcome within this element, but never did. So now we know exactly that this did not contain the word welcome, which is true. So that's a really simple test in the scheme of things. So let's bolster this up by adding a couple of different pages to our Next.js app and use get static props and server side props to do a bit of testing. So inside of our Next.js application, I've created a simple page that returns my favorite pizza toppings using the get static props method. And as you can see here, we have pineapple, ham, pepperoni, jalapenos, and green peppers. So what I've done is then I've mapped over these in this list called toppings, and I'm looking to see if these exist in a particular way. So what we can do in our integration test here is create a new one called pizza spec.js. And inside of here, we're going to do a very similar opening. So you're going to use three slashes and use reference types equals to Cypress. And just to remind you that tells Cypress that this is a test. Then I'm gonna create a const at the top here of the pizza toppings I'm expecting to show up. So in here we can do an array and inside of that array we can do pineapple. Then we can do our ham, pepperoni, jalapeno, and of course, green peppers. So now we have this, we're gonna test against this array to make sure that those are actually available when we are on the page. So first obviously we have to create our context just as we did before. So we'll call this pizza topping page. And then inside of here, we will do another function. And inside of this function, we're going to do a before each. 
And inside of that before each, we're going to do similar as we did before. We're going to make sure that CY visits the correct page. Now this page is on localhost 3000 and it is called pizza. Then underneath our before each, we're going to check those toppings. So we can do it, check our toppings, then do a comma and another function. And inside of this function, we're going to tell it CY to get our class name. So the class name here is toppings. And then inside of that, the list. And then each item and then an index. So we know which item that we've got, depending on how many are in your list. And we're going to say CY wrap. And then we're going to select the item. And that item should contain dot text. So it should contain some sort of text. And we're going to do comma and we're pizza toppings index. So this tells it that as we loop through this, we should expect that the pizza topping index that we're on, so for all each loop, it should appear in this order, pineapple, ham, pepperoni, jalapenos, and green peppers. And if it doesn't, then the test will fail. So let's give this a test first and make sure that it works. And then after that, I can show you what happens if they don't appear in the correct order. And the same way as before, terminal run and then npm test. And now you'll see two tests. So we're going to test them and both of them should be successful. So I'll meet you when Cypress has loaded. So here we are. And now you can see we have this new spec called pizza spec.js. So let's go ahead and run this integration test. And we should see two successful options here. The home page, we found the welcome. And then our check pizza toppings, it found this element contained pineapple, this element contained ham, this one had pepperoni, this one had jalapenos, and finally this one had green peppers. So I'm going to make a quick change and maybe misspell one of the words and show you what happens when we run this test and it's incorrect. So I've made a quick change, so let's run our integration tests again and see what happens. So our first one was successful, it shows a welcome message. And as you can see right now, it's trying to find this and it gives you the exact answer. It says expected list to contain text green peppers, but the text was actually green peppers with a lowercase p, which failed our tests. So perfect, we've now tested that something should be expected. So now let's see what happens if we use get server props instead of get static props and see if that changes anything in our cases. So I've now created my favorite snacks page. And in here, we now have an array of snacks, chips, popcorn, M&Ms, rice cakes, and jerky, which are all some of my favorite snacks. And we're doing the exact same thing. This time we have a list called snacks, and now we can write our integration test. And this time we're using get server side props versus get static props. And the reason is I just want to highlight if there are any differences between testing when there's get server side props and when there is get static props. So to create a new one, same as before, call it snack.specs.js. And now we can create a list just as we did before with all our snacks in it. So we can just do snacks, chips, Popcorn, I like M&Ms, I like rice cakes, and of course, jerky, any type. And then we can just do the same thing we did before. We give it some context here. We can say snacks, comma, and then we can use our function here to say before each, we'd like you to check to make sure that we're on the right page. Obviously in this version, we want to make sure that we're on 
the snacks page. So that's HTTP localhost 3000 and snacks. So now we have that and we're visiting that site, we can do a similar test as we did before, where we make sure that we visit the page and we check what's in there. So we can just say check our snacks and say in our function cy.get dot snacks list so get the snacks list and for each one that's in there we're going to look for the item and then give it an index and then inside of that we can say cy.wrap item dot should contain dot text comma and then snacks and index and before I run this one I just want to talk about exactly what's happening so we're going to take these these snacks which is in an array and we're going to grab our list of snacks and check each one of the items against the index and they should appear in this order chips popcorn M&Ms rice cakes and jerky and if it does then we can launch it. So let's go ahead and launch this in Cypress and I'll show you how it works and we can see if there's any difference between a get server props and a get static prop. So here we are back in Cypress again. We now have an additional snack spec. So let's hit the integration and make sure that everything works. So what's super powerful about this is if I go and change jerky to something else, for example, in our code, which we can find right here and we say in the snacks, let's change this to I don't know, uh, bagels, not really a snack. And we go back here, it will automatically run the tests again and tell us, hey, we were expecting uh, it to contain bagels, but it was jerky. So you can actually see, oh, yep, this list is incorrect. So I can go back into my code, make those changes really quickly by going here and going to our snacks and saying this should have been uh, bagels. Hit save again, and it will rerun those tests. Uh, and we should make sure that that happens. So you can just click this run all tests. It will make those changes again. And now you can see where it successfully contains bagels. So you can see how flexible Cypress is and how easy it is for when you make a mistake or you get an error message in your tests, how quickly you can find the error, fix it and move on. So this was a short look into how Cypress works with Next.js and as you can see it doesn't matter if you're using static props, server props or anything like that, everything can be tested. So if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to see more Next.js in the future and until next time, see ya!